So Rosenberry said, I own a home, but I'm planning on moving into an apartment. Do you know if I should put my daughter's name on it or are there any loopholes re the government getting a lot of the money? I don't know if I can leave her some of her inheritance early. Thank you, Rose, for asking. Uh, that is, to be honest, kind of an accounting question, but I do know about a reverse mortgage. So if you're over the age of 55, there's a reverse mortgage and they'll do up to 50% on your home. So let's just say it's worth a million just for easy numbers sake. They'll give you a mortgage up to 500,000. You could have declared bankruptcy before. You could have bad credit. You could anything. It's not like getting a regular mortgage. Again, it only goes up to 50%. You can't take the whole million out, but you can go up to 500,000 and you could keep no, uh, you know, like monthly payments. So it's neat because it's not like a regular mortgage and you're like, oh, I haven't had a mortgage in so long and now I'm going to have these payments. So you can actually keep it with no payments. So you could take out that extra 500 and you mentioned giving your daughter an inheritance early. So you could do that. And just so you know, the reverse mortgage payments normally are in between four and four and a half percent or you can do them with payments, which just pays down that 500,000 faster. So obviously if you don't do any payments, when you sell the home, you still owe that 500,000 uh, at that four or four and a half percent. But if you do the payments every month, then it might be 470 at the end or dependent obviously how long you own it after you take that reverse mortgage. So thank you for asking.